Hello and welcome again to myfinanceteacher.org. Today, guys, we are going to do something really interesting, and I do hope that this video is going to be very valuable for you. What we are going to do today is we are actually going to look at one particular silver miner that has been recommended to me in one of the comments from one of the viewers. Thank you very much for the recommendation, and thanks to all of you for all of the comments. I do read them all and I try to answer as soon as I can, although sometimes it takes a while. Besides the comments, what I also do appreciate is the likes that videos receive. After all, I'm trying to give you as much value as I can and you might as well just hit that like button in return. What you should also do is subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Going forward, I will try to spend a little bit more time researching most interesting gold and silver miners that we might want to invest into. If you guys have any recommendations, throw them in in the comments below. I will have a look at those companies and I will give you my opinion. I would also really appreciate your opinion because there are a lot of things to look at regarding a particular miner. And since unfortunately I don't have time to research all of the minute details of First Majestic, I'm just going to give you my opinion based on some more or less important factors, in my opinion. If you think that I have missed something, let us all know in the comments below and we might have a ball rolling in terms of discussing these sort of things. I will try to have more of these potentially rewarding analyses of particular miners on my website. Again, that's myfinanceteacher.org. In future, the public videos on the YouTube channel will discuss general prices of commodities, whereas the analysis of particular gold and silver miners might be behind the paywall on the website. That's again, myfinanceteacher.org. For now, let's have a quick look at First Majestic. And in this video, I want to compare the reserve value that the company has in the ground with the market capitalization of the company. So looking at the company's reserves, both proven and probable that around 103 million ounces of silver, about 807,000 ounces of gold, and about 171 million ounces of uh, silver equivalent. Of course, it's costly to extract all of these metals out of the ground, so looking at the costs, the company reports only sustaining costs for silver production of around $15. I didn't find any information for gold, so let's assume a relatively low cost of gold production of, let's say, $800 per ounce. Another thing we will look at is company's debt as well as market capitalization, which of course will involve looking at the number of shares outstanding. Company's debt is about $151 million, and the number of shares outstanding is just over 200 million shares. As I mentioned, I want to compare market capitalization with the value of the reserves. And of course, we want to have a look at the reserves after the cost of extracting those reserves, after the cost of production. And that is around $640 million, if my math is correct. Subtracting the long-term debt gives me around $490 million. Dividing that by 200 million shares, that's around $2.5 per share. And... Unfortunately, comparing to the current price of nearly $10, it seems that at the moment, at least at the moment, First Majestic is overpriced. But remember, the really, really nice things about those miners, both gold and silver miners, is a great leverage in relation to the commodity price, in, in relation to the price of gold and silver. So although at the moment, it seems that the fair value is at about $2.5, which is nearly four times below the current price. If silver price increases from the current, let's say $16 to only around $21, that's only about 30% rise. That would make the current price justifiable. In other words, the fair value would increase by nearly fourfold when the silver price only increases by about 30%. That is a great thing about both gold and silver miners. And that is the reason why you probably want to keep an eye on my website, that's myfinanceteacher.org. You can find all of my public videos there at the moment. In future, though, I will try to spend more time analyzing these miners with a great leverage potential. And that is probably going to be behind the paywall. 
Besides, the subscription price is relatively low, just $5 in the first month, that's just a cup of coffee per month, and $10 every month after that, that's just two cups of coffee per month, that you might want to share with me, maybe even in return for these public videos, where I do try my best to give you guys as much value as I can. So as I said, go to myfinanceteacher.org, you can find all of my public videos here, the design of the website is uh, really, really simple. I guess I might need some advice on, uh, on the decorative side of the building things. And I do suggest you guys uh, register either as a free or maybe even a paying member to, in order to stay in touch with the value I'm trying to provide to you guys. And on that, thanks a lot and good luck in your trades.